All right, welcome back to another episode of Backyard Soccer 1998. Last one, we played three games, we won them all, and we have qualified for the astonishingly shiny cup of all Cup Cups World Tournament. So, we ended up winning those three, 4 nothing, 6 nothing, and 5-1. to one. We've been playing very well as of late. Um, you know, really haven't been giving up any goals. We haven't given up more than one goal this entire uh, Premier League, as well as we've been scoring a bunch. It's only really this one. I mean, we had a couple games with two goals, but for the most part, we've been averaging around four or five goals. So we're playing really well. So we only have two games left here. Pickles and the... Uh, Who's the other team? The Bananas, right. So the Pickles, they are in second place in the Premier League. But the, um, the, what was it? The Bananas are 6-6. Six and six. So, um, there's not a ton really to, you know, not really a ton at stake here in this episode. We're just going to finish off these last two games. But next episode will be, uh, a lot more important next one will be the uh, knockout stage for the world cup we'll get all three of those games done and then assuming we move on to the the knockout round we'll do the knockout round in an episode as well so probably only gonna be two episodes after this one but so this one is probably gonna be just uh you know kind of a whatever episode but might as well mix it up right you know might as well might as well do something weird here um Let's get Jorge. Let's move up Jorge to midfield. We'll throw Marky in de on defense. We'll put Stephanie up here uh, for Maria. And we'll put Kimmy up here as well. Yeah, we're, we're really good. And we'll put... Actually, let's move Ronnie up. We'll move uh, We'll move Kimmy down. Make it like that. We're just going to just really, we're just really just going to be weird with it this episode. Mostly because this episode, again, these games don't really mean much. So we're just going to be weird with it. We're going to go, we're going to be really weird with this, with this lineup. Um, but yeah, we're just going to have fun with it. Uh, two games in this episode. And then, like I said, we will move on to the knockout stage in the next one. So let's just get these games over with. Let's hop into game 13. Here we are. Sunny day here, along with Earl Grey, welcoming you all to another day of BSL soccer. We're gonna have a fantastic time today, aren't we, Earl? Indeed we are, Sunny. It's always a pleasure to be here in the States. Going head to head in today's game are the Minty Pickles and the Blue Boots. The Boots have been tremendous this season. They have really proven themselves above the rest, having clinched the Premier Division Championship and the right to participate in the astonishingly shiny Cup of All Cups tournament. Let's get kicking! All right, let's hop in here. Game number 13. We got Jorge pl kit playing off in midfield. Let's see what Jorge's got. You know, he's been playing goalie all season long. We're going to let Jorge... We're going to let Jorge... Jorge! Ah, nice try. Two shots right off the bat, though. Not the finish he had hoped for. Goal kick green. We're gonna get really weird with this one, with this episode. Ooh, Stephanie. Oh, oh, another. This is why they don't really play. This is why they don't really play midfield or forward. I think they should have let that one count. Stephanie Close again, up. another <laughs> Stephanie, over the end another. Kick we've had like four shots, and I think three of them have been wide. Stephanie is she's all over it though. Stephanie, get in there, get in there. Are you kidding me, Stephanie? Oh my, <laughs> like what? Why? She all she had to do is dribble the ball into the net, and she still missed the net. Oh my goodness. I mean, like I said, this game doesn't really mean anything. It's just it's just ridiculous how that didn't go in. Let's get it out of danger. It's the opposite of all right, here we go. Alright, Jorge, show him how it's done. Show him how it's done, Jorge. Jorge, from here, fire it. Send it. How did that get saved? I mean I thought that was gonna go wide to be honest. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, penalty kick. Well, good call by the referee. I think that might be a free kick, actually. I don't know. I don't know if that's a, I don't know if it was fouled in the box yet. Ben Rowe is coming on for Zenon Estrada. Yeah, it was just outside the box. Jorge, send it. Oh my goodness. Hit the net. <laughs> Put it on goal. Please, I beg of you. I'm put a blue boots put it on goal challenge impossible Kimmy with the steal Kimmy Ekman Kimmy on goal please oh my God. how how are we just missing the net every time how are we missing the net every time Honestly, if I had done a series with this team, I would have for sure lost my mind. I don't think I could have done this uh, for for too many episodes. To Stephanie. Uh, I would have lost my mind if this was the uh, the lineup we had. We already have a ton of shots. We already have a ton of shots. But I literally think only two of them have been on net. Up to Jorge. Up, up to Ronnie, I meant. Turn with it, Ronnie, up to Jorge. Bad pass. All right, Jorge's got it. Jocinda, her first touch of the day, another foul. Oh, boy. All right. This is gonna be this is gonna be tough to get a goal here. All right, Jorge, you got some room. Jorge's got some room. Keep it away. Keep it away. Keep it away. Nope. No. Nice clear by the goalkeeper. All right, let's just get it back to their side. No. Marky. Marky. Yes. Marky's pretty strong. I agree. It's our ball. The what? How do we keep fouling? We have a substitution for the minty pickle. This might have been a mistake. Charles Carpenter is in for Judy Abunza. This might have been a mistake. Now they switch it. All right, Ronnie, come on. Come on, Ronnie. Jorge, why are you falling? For what? Triples it up. Jorge, send it up to Stephanie. Okay, Stephanie, turn with it. Come on, Stephanie. Draw foul or something. No. All right. Well, we're going to the halftime 0-0 zero, zero after like 10,000 missed shots. turned out to be a nail-biting game. It is difficult to say who is going to win here today. Let's head back to the game to find out. That was quite a, quite the first half. Um, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get a goal, but we're going to do our best here. All right, up to Ronnie. Ronnie's playing forward. He forgot the ball. All right, get up back up to Jorge. We got some room. We got some room, Jorge. Okay, this is a good opportunity. Jorge, on net. Oh, it's saved, all right. We, we at least we put it on net. That's all I can really ask for at this point. There's no goalie. Ronnie, no. All right, Kimmy's got it. Get to Ronnie. Turn with it, all right, Ronnie. Dobbs, Dobbs. Ronnie, yes. No! <laughs> Ronnie with the header. No. Jorge, yes. No, what a save. Oh my goodness. I am losing my mind here with all these missed shots and posts and everything else. Oh no, Kimmy. Oh no, Kimmy. She's getting crossed up. Kimmy, no, no penalty, no penalty. Easy, easy. Get it out. No. Kimmy. That's ours. Oh, 
Oh dear, not the type of play we like to see. What? How is that a... We have a substitution. How is that a foul on us? We have the ball. Zenon Estrada is in for Ben Roll. How on earth was that a penalty on us? And we give up the goal. Oh my, we're going to lose this game. We're going to lose. I can't believe how many shots we take and to not have a single goal on the board. Yeah, if I had this lineup all season long, it would have been pretty bad. Stephanie? Oh, penalty kick. Come on, Jorge, don't let me down. Don't let me down, Jorge. Jorge, no, he let me down. I mean, granted, his shot accuracy was pretty terrible. Oh, my God. All right, Ronnie. Yes, Ronnie, turn with it. Shoot it. Yes. No. No, get him in the net. No. Oh, what a pass to Jorge. Get in there. Get in there. No. How do we not get this in the net? All right, Jocinda, get up to Ronnie. Just throw it on the net. We have the power up. No. Oh my god, we're gonna waste this power up. We're gonna get shut out. Just <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. Get up to Stephanie. Up to Ronnie. No, <laughs> we're going to lose. <laughs> we're going to lose. I thought I could win with this makeshift lineup. Apparently not. Yeah, if I had this lineup all season long, I would have lost several games. I would have lost several games with this lineup if this was our lineup all year long. Kimmy, last chance. Stephanie, get on it. No. And it's over. It's all over. The Blue Boots win streak is going to come to an end. Poor play from the team. Poor management. Another missed shot or for, for good measure. said to lessen the blow of a loss. I am sure the next matchup of these two teams will prove most interesting. Well, that was something. <laughs> that was something, man. How many shots did we have in this game? We had 12 shots and only four of them were on net. I mean, good lord. We could not put the ball in the... I mean, this just shows you how valuable Maria and Ernie are to our team. I mean... For real, like they, Maria, Maria's way too good for this team. I, if I really wanted to do a worse um, roster challenge or worse team roster, I should not have picked Maria. She's way too good for this team. But anyways, we do suffer defeat. Not that it really matters in the grand scheme of things. Um, we're obviously, we're still the division champs and we're still moving on to the World Cup. Uh, unfortunately for the Pickles, second place doesn't really matter. The only, only we're moving off to the Premier League or the the world, the uh, astonishingly shiny cup of all cup cups. So we're gonna take the L on that one, one nothing. But now I'm determined. Now I want to. Now I would like to try and win a game with this team because I mean that 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 kind of frustrated me. I'm not gonna lie. That kind of got me upset. I'm gonna. I, I want to try and win with this team. I'm stubborn. What can I say? So we're gonna run with this lineup one more time for for fun for funsies. And we're going to try and see if we can win with this lineup because that last game was pretty embarrassing. Let's see. Let's see if we can win win, uh, win this final game of uh, Premier League. We've got some fantastic soccer play on the way, folks. The Boots have clinched the top spot in the BSL Premier Division, which means they've also qualified for our international tourney. This is Sunny Day and my pal Earl Grey with a hearty hi ho to you. Uh, certainly, Sonny. It's a pleasure. Today's matchup is between the Blue Boots and the Nutty Bananas. The Boots have been tremendous this season. This game will only be a tune-up for them. They've already clinched the Premier Division Championship, 
and will represent the Backyard Soccer League in the astonishingly shiny Cup of All Cups tournament. Let's get kicking! All right. Blue Boots, Sunny Bananas. We're getting, we're going to give a second crack at this lineup here, see if we can win. Because that first, that last game left a sour taste in my mouth. We had so many chances of getting a goal, too. It's not even like, like, oh, we were completely dominated. We definitely had so many chances of scoring a goal, but we missed the net just in an egregious amount of times. All right, here comes Stephanie. Stephanie, this is a good opportunity. Hit, please hit the net. I mean, that was—that's not a bad shot. I'm not gonna be—I'm not gonna be upset when they hit the net like that. That's just a good save. Not gonna be upset by that one. Up to Jorge. Come on, Jorge. Turn with it. Fire it. Another save right at the goalkeeper. That one gets away. Yeah, when we go play the World Cup, we're definitely bringing Maria and Ernie back in because clearly we need them. Like, clearly. Own goal. Own goal, please. Own goal. Stephanie. Get it. Shoot it. Oh. Ow. Ow. Get in there, Jorge. Yes. Jorge Garcia. Jorge, finally, we get a goal. Finally, we get a goal from Jorge. We're up one nothing. Let's see if Marky though can hold the door. Up to Ronnie Dobbs. Ronnie's gonna end, uh, ended up playing forward a couple of these. Uh, Ronnie, I mean, he is playing forward, but I'm saying Ronnie's uh, he's getting a, a lot of looks. He's just really slow. Kimmy, good play. Up to nope, too far out in front for Ronnie. We're gonna have to win this one one nothing. I feel like I feel like we're just gonna have to just not give up a goal to win this one. Or else is gonna go to penalty, or we're gonna, we're just gonna straight up lose. Kimmy, what was that? Jocinda, Jocinda, get up. Okay, clear it out of danger. Get this out of danger. Okay, good, 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 good. Just clear it. Nice, and it should stay in bounds. Perfect, Jorge, get on that. No, you're not getting in there. Oh, Ronnie! No, get in there, Ronnie! Yes, 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 Ronnie! Oh, what a what a beautiful goal! I don't know what Jorge was doing. If he looked at that, he was just like laying flat on the ground, showing his butt. I don't know what that was, but Ronnie Dobbs with some touch on that one. We're up to nothing. All I could ask for out of this lineup: a two nothing lead here in the first half. We will take that any day of the week. Any day ending with Y. Now we just have to, now we we don't need any more goals now. We got our two goals. Now we just need to you know play some defense, stop them from scoring. Uh oh. Just clear that out there. No, Jocinda, why'd you hit it back in? Jocinda, we were clearing it. Why'd you let Marky let Marky get it? Clear it. Yes. All right. That should send us into halftime. Up two to nothing. Let's go. Bring the ball forward. And the first half comes to a close. Welcome to halftime of this incredible game, folks. The boots are up to zero. Let's cheer them through a second half and hope they can hold on to the lead. Indeed, Sonny. I believe they will hold on to this one in the second half. They've really composed a solid effort thus far, with no real problems to concern the coach. If they can maintain their poise and finish the game strong, they'll have a successful result. All right, two nothing lead at halftime. Again, all I can ask for out of this team. Controls it with the chest. Now we just got to hold on for this victory here. We want again. We want to go into the World Cup or the astonishingly shiny cup um, with some momentum. We want to be feeling good about ourselves. Up to Jorge. Turn with it. Jorge. Uh, weak shot. Weak, weak shot. Yeah, we want to feel good about ourselves with some momentum. Go into there with some momentum. Because we are going to be playing some pretty good teams, I feel like. Teams that are faster, better uh, than us, but they don't have as much heart as we do. 
We know this. Stephanie Morgan. Oh, that's a decent shot. Oh, I, oh, that was. I'm not. That was. A, that was a pretty decent shot. Um, honestly, again, not gonna be mad at Stephanie for that one. That last game, though, Stephanie sold. Stephanie sold hard in the last game. I mean, she literally had a ball right in front of the net, and she still managed to miss the net. It was impressive, honestly. No penalty. Could have been a penalty kick. Jorge, okay. Get up to Steph. Okay, Steph, turn with it. Shoot it, shoot it. No. Uh, I, I was just trying to get in the box so we can get a penalty out of it. We're doing a good job of possession, though. Jocinda, fire that. Fire that one. Not that high, Jocinda. We have a substitution for the Nutty Bananas. Buddy Martin is in for Mandy Coolidge. Goal kick I mean, for the we're doing a good job at least of keeping the, you know, playing keep away, keeping the possession. The so, ball. again, we just have to hold on here. We don't need any more goals. We already got our two. And it's we need to clean play. keep controlling the play. Uh, I couldn't even. All right. Jorge, get on that. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Ronnie. Good, good defense, Ronnie. Up now, just get it. All right, they still have enough time to get two goals, so we have to, we have to, we still have to, still have to play smart here. Just got to keep it over on this side. Back to over to, yep, beautiful. Back over to Ronnie. Just, Ronnie, why, why didn't you take the ball with you? Yeah, that was obvious. All right. Yes. Foul called for pushing. All right, we should be good now. I don't think. Oh, good pass, Stephanie. Fire it. It's on net again. Can't. Not gonna be mad when she puts it on the net. Yeah, we should be good now. I think. Uh, I don't think they have enough time to get two goals. They're still. They're still on this end. All right, Ronnie. Another one on goal. We are. We are putting shots on the net can't ask for more than that. I mean, you could. You could ask for goals, but that's a lot to ask for this team. But yeah, we are we are uh, moments away here from another shutout. I mean, yeah, they can't even get the ball at their own end. Just playing some lockdown defense here. Time possession. And that's going to do it. The Boots are going to end off Premier League with a 2 nothing victory over the Bananas on their way to the World Cup. Sonny, the better team has won once again. What more needs to be said? The scoreboard says it all. All right, we end off with a 2 nothing victory. And how many shots do we have? Only five shots. Not, not even as many shots as we had last game, but we do get the two goals, one from Jorge and one from Ronnie. And we are on our way. We are the premier division champs. We really gelled as a team. This season said Boots co-captain Jorge Garcia. We just played hard and the rest took care of itself, added Jocinda Smith. All right. We are going to represent the BSL in the astonishingly shiny cup of all Cup Cups tournaments. So uh, before we do that, we are just going to look at the division leaders. So even though Maria did not play... Even though Maria didn't even play those last two games, she still led the league in goals scored. Marky Du Bois had... Um, seven assists led the league in points so even though Marky played goalie those last two games he still led the league in points uh we're not up there for shooting it's a more of a collective group effort Marky three out of four on the penalty kick so he definitely stepped his penalty kick game up Maria had two hat tricks this this season Jorge 12 wins Marky got those well actually Marky went one and one in the last two um Still up there for only goals allowed, though. Save percentage. Look at that. <laughs> we had the two best goalies, and Marky had a shutout. So that's funny. But, yeah, we are now going to be moving up to the uh, the World Cup here. So, uh, like I said, I think what we're going to do is we are just going to play the knockout round in the next episode. So I think we're just going to end up playing all three of these teams, the Ogles, the Dragons, and the Toritos. Um so we'll play those three teams 
And assuming we, I mean, assuming we win all of them, or at least two out of three, I think, we should qualify to the knockout stage. And then the episode after that will be the knockout round. And hopefully in that episode, we win the World Cup or the Aston. I keep saying World Cup, but you know what I mean. Astonishingly shiny cup of all cup cups. So probably only give me two episodes left in the series, but I am going to swap out, um, my Ross might go back to normal just so I don't forget because that was, oof, <laughs> I don't think I can handle something like that again. So, um, yeah, we, that, that last game proved just how valuable Murray and Ernie are to our team, but yeah, another solid victory here. And, we are heading, we are down to the final couple episodes of the series. And then after that, we'll move on to 2004 Backyard Soccer. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Till next time, catch y'all later.